Hi guys, it's Sasa Cactus. Okay, I'm gonna share my Mattafly mini album that I just finished. Sorry, I don't have any tutorial to show you guys how I put this thing together. Okay, I did this at at work, guys. Like last week, I just finished today. I um, got requested for a melody. Melody, she is um, she ordered my uh, Butterfly mini album and she wants to get some uh, inspiration. So I'm not sure I like the the cover okay but the inside i love it how it turned out okay um let me show you first uh i did clean clean my uh, seam binding and i uh dye with i'm not sure i think i believe this lindy stem gang um so i'm not sure this one because i got i i did like long time ago guys <laughs> i i did it and then i stopped i tried to finish because because if I stop too much, I will never be able to finish the project. So, and I tied this seam binding on the ring there, so I have the ring. And this uh, Tim Ho Chin and this uh, acrylic charm here, I just made. You guys know that I made this. I have the tutorial how I made this. Okay, and the uh, mother and little girl there. She's so pretty. Anyway, and my uh, ring that I used to. Um, by there, I use my seam binding and I wrap around the ring here, guys. So it's I kind of use the hot glue. You can you know really take it out if you you have to alter everything. If if you want to do like me, you have to um, alter everything. And then the last one you want to do is to put the wrap the ring with seam binding like me. I I did first, and then I have a difficult when I use my stencil. <laughs> Okay, and this is how it looks like. And this I use the uh, Michael Michael's clock, and this chin is um, from a ninety nine store, ninety nine cent store chin. So I you know the necklace. So I took out from that, and I used to wrap here for my um, brochure. See this on the back. I didn't do anything much. Oh. And um, this wood ticket from La Collection, there in the flower, of, uh, the gardenia from my store, and the flower from Plymer that I laid, uh, layered together and at the pro center. As I said, um, I not really like the front cover, but it was okay. So I covered all the punch here because I have the machine to cut so I cut designer paper actually if you don't have it um, you can paint it you know mostly paint it better I should paint I really don't like the paper guys <laughs> I should paint you know but it's already too late you know and I just unhooked it uh, chin here to um, see I did wrap this one around so if it kind of get too thick, you have to add more the length of the chin, though, guys. It's kind of get tight. So that my I'm gonna open the page. See, this is my third page. I kind of do like the detail, guys. Okay. Um, this paper collection. Uh, let me see what collection I forgot. I forgot. Um, no, the Bobani uh, Country Garden, this collection that um, that I use. So this one is, I just cut um, out from the paper collection. I use the uh, pop dot, um, the foam dot to, uh, you know, pop it up. This my um, script stencil. I love, love this stencil, guy. my handmade stencil. Let me show you guys. If you guys haven't seen it, more you guys seen it already, guys. You guys, this is selling pretty good, guys. I'm not really want to sell. It. I still do not want to sell it. Cause it take too much time to, you know. But you guys have been, you know, asking a lot, so I have to. <laughs> so you guys can't see it. But anyway, you guys can see the closer look how it look like there. I just love it. I use more in paste guy. I just do like uh, on this side. That's it. 
Okay, and I use the uh, metal pole here on the lamp lights here from Lack Collection, and this um, chipboard Lack Collection also. And this flower for my store, this Prima flower, I lay it together, and then the, this flower for my stash. I didn't do anything much, guy did paste, so you just, you know, put the photo in there, and this one is, you know, can, um, you know, tuck something in, it, you know, no problem. And for the next page, let me start on this one. So this one I did cut, um... Uh, on the background here, I use my stencil, the 12 by 12 stencil, guys. I love, love my uh, 12 by 12 stencil, my new one. Let me show you which one that I use. See, I call this one the brick sidewalk stencil. I love using this one. See, it's kind of big one. I use that one to, uh, for the background there. And I cut the piece of the paper collection to, you know, be my photo mat there to a photo mat. So this card, um, she bought from like collection and my um white flower that I painted this in the with the photo art color. I'm not sure this color. What is this color? Maybe um maybe this color it. That a um the lemon lemon custard. I'm not sure that one or what. I believe it's this one. I'm not sure, guys. Or maybe not. Maybe I use this one. This the the bus uh, the school uh bus yellow. Yes, the, this one is school bus yellow. And I use the blue one. I believe it's the blue. No. This is the sea meat blue, and then I use the green one. You know, some of them, if, if too bright, you can paint a color to, you know, wash the color off, guys. That's what I do. I actually use the vintage white to wash the color down because if too bright, you know, it, it was too bright for me. Okay, and that page, and this page again, this, um, set the uh, the papers in the paper collection, the, it's this shape, I just cut the follow line that, you know, fussy cut out, uh, fussy cut out, sorry. And uh, this wood ticket from um, that collection and the flower from my store and this Pima flowers and this flower from my store and the wood ticket hiding under there is that collection. On the break Wow, here I use my stencil again. Is this one I use like on the side of five by twelve? This one. See, I call the brick wall um stencil line. This one. So you guys can see, I get this look. I love that. Not sure you guys can see. I just love love my. I use modeling paste again, guys. I just love my stencil. And for the next page, and this one again, I use um, for the background. I use my 12 by 12 stencil. Now let me show you the curvy look. This one, this really big, big stencil. Okay, see the brick was uh, the brick side really big. So that I use that one for my background and use modeling paste. Love it. And I use the um, single lamp light here from uh, La Collection, and I use my um, Tiny flower and I paint this into I I use the buttercream for this one and I use for this color I use the pink one here the seashell pink and this side I use the light fresh color so I lay in there I actually this match because it I just finished painting it guy in the flower not dry yet I just love it guys this is so pretty. Again, for this page, I use oh, this the the photo mat here, the perfect collection that I did fussy cut along the line here, and I get my paper flowers for my store, the chipboard from the like, collection, and get my the bling for my store, and this red trim from from my stand. I'm I'm not sure from an album and send me or not. I'm not really sure. I have a lot so and this my 
Uh, they are my favorite. This I use again as honeycomb stencil. This I use the 12 by 12 honeycomb stencil. I believe I use this is the small honeycomb, not the big one, guys. Let me show you guys this one. See, yep, that's this one, that small one that I use for my background. I use um, boring paste and for the Next page again. This one I use the paper collection to make my photo mat and background. I use the big honeycomb. Okay, see. So this one is for my background, and I use my modeling paste again. And this ticket from my like, collection, and I use my flowers, and I paint it all in five colors here. I believe I'm um, not sure that one or this one. Uh, maybe uh, this, this one the blue, or maybe this. I'm not sure. Maybe this one. I'm not really sure. And then I use the green here for that one, and I use this green for the sisu pink over here, and this one but but the uh, but the cream color. I feel like I use it repeated again again. This is my favorite paint, guys. Really easy and simple. I pretty much wa why wash the color because this is kind of too bright for me. I just use my vintage white and I use, this one have a dopper, so I just dab, you know, you like this. See, okay, I get all the colors. See on the wood, I just use my dopper butter. So I'm selling the dopper cap, guys. If you got interested, check out my store. And for the last page, oh my gosh. For my last page, this one, I'm not sure you guys can really tell it's the number. I use again, I use my um, stencil 5x12, the number one. I'm not sure this one you guys can tell is um, this one. Um, let me see. This one may show better. See here. That my number stencil there that I use for my background with modeling page and I use again the um, photo mat from the paper collection that I did fuzzy cut. And do you call the lamp light right? What is it? Um, the hand the oil lamp light. Uh, she bought from a collection and did Prima flower. I believe so and this Prima flowers in the collection wood clock here pretty much that it guys on the back I didn't do anything much guys I just used you know some paint a little bit on the back that's it guys my mini album I hope you guys like it <laughs> if not that's okay because it's for me and thank you guys for watching I will see you guys later Thank you guys for keep watching my video. I'll see you guys later.